and welcome to my channel. Well today I'm going to be making what I like to call grandma's light and fluffy pancakes. I call them grandma's because uh, when my uh, grandchildren were young and my daughter had to work I used to pick them up from school and when I asked them what they wanted to eat they always wanted grandma's pancakes. <laughs> so um, I always had to make them pancakes. So. We're going to go ahead and do that today. We just got out of church and it just seemed like a good thing to have for our Sunday dinner this week. A little different from the usual roast and stuff like that that we usually have. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I have got my mixer out and you can see I've added my whisk attachment to this because I want this egg to um, be aerated very good. So we're going to take it. I'm taking one egg. Now I will tell you that I have cut this recipe in half and made it good for um, to make enough pancakes for two people, but down in the description below I will include the ingredients to the full recipe so that if you have a family and you want to make these for a family you should be able to do it without any trouble. But uh, this, since it's just my husband and me, I've uh, cut the recipe back a little. So I've taken one egg one large egg and I'm going to put that on my mixer and again I used my whisk attachment because I want that egg aerated very well and what we're going to do is we're going to beat this egg until it is thick and lemon colored so when that happens I will be right back with you okay now our egg is thick and lemon colored I don't know if you can see that I hope you can see that okay but uh, that's what your egg should look like is when this, you want it thick and lemon colored. It didn't take very long. And what I have in this bowl is just a little bit more than a cup of flour. And I'm going to dump that right in my mixing bowl. Now, I'm not going to put this back on the mixer because at this point we're no longer going to be using the mixer. Let me grab my spatula because that's what I am going to be using. Okay, and to that, I'm going to add one eighth of a cup of cooking oil. And there that is. I'll just put this out of the way and bring it back over here. All right, um, and then next we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar. or I'm sorry, one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, and then to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is pure vanilla extract. This is actually Mexican vanilla that uh, my daughters got for me on a cruise that they were on a while back. Okay, and now let me go grab my milk. I should have already done that and I forgot it. But anyway, I'm going to start. I'm going to pour about a cup of milk in my measuring cup. Now, and I'm going to start adding this in because I'm not sure exactly how much I want to add. I might want to add that full cup. Might want to add a little more, might want to add a little less. Just depends. Because with pancakes, the thicker your batter is, the, the thicker your pancakes are going to be. If you want thin pancakes, you want a thin batter. If you want something in the middle, you know, you want um, just kind of a, you don't want a real thick batter, but you don't want a real thin batter either. All right, and I want definitely a thick, thinner batter than what I have here, so I'm going to start stirring that together a little more. And I'm doing this away from the mixer because I don't want to overmix these. All right, and that looks that looks about right for for our taste. Like I say, if you want a thinner pancake, you can you can always make a thinner batter. If you want it thicker, you make a thicker batter. So that's really up to you. Um, I used. Let me see here. I probably used three quarters of a cup of whole milk in this. Okay, and I'm going to set this aside and we're going to move you guys over to the stove so you can see what I'm going to do next. 
Okay, I've got my pan heating up, and what I have done is added just about a tablespoon of oil to this because if you add oil to your pancake, um, to your pan when you start to fr um, bake your pancakes in it, it'll give you a nice little crispy ring on the edge and uh, make them nice and crispy, and that's what we like. So, okay, and I'm going to bring my milk over here just in case I do want to thin down my batter. Sometimes it's hard to tell with your first pancake, but I think this looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm just waiting for my pan to get hot. I don't want my pan to be too cool. If your pan is too cool, then it's going to soak up that little bit of grease and your pancakes are going to end up being heavy, and we don't want that. We want a nice, fluffy pancake. So, and we're getting there. I can tell it's warming a little bit. Also, uh, I made some sausages to go with that because we do like pancakes and sausage. Now, typically we use a sugar-free syrup. Um, but you can use whatever you like. You can also add into this. You can add berries or chocolate chips or anything that you'd like to add into it. Okay, now this ladle that I have is a quarter of a cup ladle. And I'm going to take that and I'm just going to ladle that right in there and kind of spread that a little bit. Because I think our pan is right at there. All right. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because I don't want them to cook too fast on the outside and then be raw and runny on the inside. So I have my heat cut back to more of a medium at this point. And you can see it's starting to see the bubbles. It's starting to get those bubbles in there to show that it's getting close. So I'm going to let that go just a little bit more. I want to see some more bubbles on the top of it because I don't think it's quite ready to turn yet. And I've turned my heat down a little more because, again, I don't want my heat too high. And we're getting there. You can see how it's kind of puffing up. Beating the egg like we do before we start is what will cause that. It works out really well. Okay. so. I think we're ready to turn. One, two, three, there we go. Okay, and you can see how pretty and golden that came out. And I've got that little bit of crispy ring around the edge that we do like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this till it's uh, till I think till it's done. A lot of times what I do is I'm picky. I want to make sure that it is cooked through because I don't want ever want to get that runny batter in the middle of it. So sometimes I'll take a fork and just pull pull that apart a little bit and make sure that it is done before we take it up. But I don't know if you can see that pancake is really starting to puff up nicely. And they are again they are extremely light. So going to check this one. And yes, this pancake is done. So I'm going to take this up and put it on a plate. And when I get the rest of our pancakes done, I will be back with you and show you what they look like. Okay, our pancakes are done and there's what they look like on the plate. This is my portion. I usually only have two. My husband usually has three. But I wanted to show you. Pull this out. How, how light and fluffy these are. They come out so nice and fluffy and very light. So there you have it. Well, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a like and subscribe. It would help my channel out quite a bit if you did. So y'all have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.